I'm Eno Iroha with Net Security. Threat Responder is an endpoint threat detection, prevention, and response platform. And I want to use uh, this uh, demo to show you how Threat Responder can also be used to conduct enterprise wide remote forensics investigation. So once you log on to the Threat Responder platform, from the dashboard to begin your forensic investigations, all you do is to click on the forensics icon. From here, you have the option to uh, begin a new investigation or review the uh, previous investigations that, that were conducted. So the different options we have is to look at the investigation that was conducted or re, re, uh, reinvestigate or reconduct a forensic investigation or delete an, an existing forensic investigations. So to begin a forensic investigation, all we need to do is to basically say new investigation. And here we have to specify the name of the investigation, the description of the investigation, and the, the artifacts that we, are, we would be interested in investigating. The red artifacts are basically things that would take a long time to, to conduct, right? So they are disabled by, by default. But you may you have the option to toggle on and off any one of these uh, one of these areas. So from file system, file system journal, user folders, startup locations, drivers, services, and run look run and run once and and uh, and also you have the option to do a process execution, right? So we have different options from which to select, as well as network activity. And, and account usage activities, device usage like USB connections to, to a machine, and also services that are running. Once you've, once you've identified all of these events, you have the option to select the assets or endpoints that you want to forensically analyze. So you may do one, two, or even a thousand of this. And uh, once selected, you click on Start Investigation, and then Threat Responder goes to work on your behalf. Once the investigation has been started, you, you, uh, you can look at uh, one, of this, uh, one of these activities. If you click on Detail, and uh, you present it with uh, the different, uh, uh, the result of the investigation. So in this case, you have the uh, summary uh, activities, uh, the number of endpoints reviewed, the threats that were detected during the forensic investigations. Uh, number of network connections, processes, executions, and events that were collected, right? And more importantly, you have the option to download the result of the investigation into a CSV report where you can do more filtering or analysis of the results. Nonetheless, you also, Threat Responder allows you to search through the, the, uh, the result of your analysis to pinpoint uh, setting artifacts or setting evidence that uh, you are interested in. So here we see five endpoints where we analyze, and uh, the status of the analysis uh, was was complete, and uh, th this number of threats were found in each one of the endpoints that we, we, we that were investigated. The system information is provided, uh, the hardware information, uh, and uh, the uh, CPU and and uh, other things uh, relating to the uh, the endpoints. Threat Responder also provides you the uh, scan statistics, right, so of all the endpoints, or you can select a particular endpoint of interest, right? And we have the distribution of all the threats and a listing of all the threats, the threat scores, uh, how the threats were detected, uh, the threat name or the indicator, the threat name, uh, the endpoint in question, as well as the indicator of that particular threat. We also show you the connections to certain countries, right? So um, the connections are highlighted in different colors, and um, you can actually mask through each one of them to be able to know where things were connected, how many connections were made. So for example, France uh, had uh, five connections targeting it, and Russia had three connections, uh, and Brazil had uh, two connections. Uh, remote desktop connection. Uh, one instance was identified, and uh, this was the uh, the IP address that was connected to. Threat Responder also gives you the ability to determine 
the number of U the USB devices that were used in your environment. So, for example, uh, if you were wondering why USB USB device if USB devices were using your environment to potentially copy or exfiltrate data, you have the ability to, to pinpoint which machine, which user contest in some cases, as well as the actual USB device that was used to move move data. We give you the time, the uh, the scan timeline, right? So the the forensics timeline of events, right? So if you're not interested in, by default, we investigate the system from the time the system was deployed into production, um, and uh, or the the time the system was actually installed, right? So we give you uh, visibility into uh, into threat or into activities. Uh, and, but you have the option to basically narrow your, your search or your, your scope of investigation by calibrating the, uh, the timeline or basically specifying the timeline that you may be interested in, right? So for now, we'll leave the timeline to be default, basically everything, right? And um, when down here, or uh, below the, ti the timeline graph, you have the different artifacts that we were able to identify, right? So file system journal. There were 467 entries. Device drivers, there were 27 identified device drivers. Connection history, user events, and so on and so forth, right? So you see all the different activities uh, that we were able to, uh, to identify. Um, the, uh, the, you have the ability to set, search through the data set. So for example, you could say, OK, um, where the, where the uh, doc, dot, doc, uh, docx or that pdf file or powerpoint files that were used that were assessed or even modified by any user on the on the in the environment you have the ability to do that you can ask the question too where there are connections to certain 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 countries where there are scheduled tasks where there are device that devices that were used within the environment right or with the uh, rdp connection or was there a setting user that actually um that actually made connections or uh, log on to a particular system, right? So Threat Responder give you that ability, right? Again, schedule tasks, uh, files deleted, uh, prefetch, uh, running processes, uh, schedule tasks, and so on and so forth. So for, for example, let, let's say I am interested in, in uh, connection to setting countries. Uh, let's say um, I want to see if there were connections to Russia from uh, it, uh, from any of my endpoints, I see that uh, there were processes. Um, Google Chrome uh, uh, were used to connect from uh, this particular uh, endpoint to Russia, right? And it tells me the actual domain name they connected to, uh, the process and the IP address, right? So I have visibility into those type of activities. Let's say I'm interested in knowing connections to uh, US or China, um, you know, I have that uh, visibility into, uh, into uh, those kind of activities as well. Uh, let's say we are interested in a, a, uh, the, uh, uh, let's say, uh, um, scheduled task, right? So I have the ability to do a category, right? I can specify a category of, uh, let, let's say, I want to know all the scheduled tasks, schedule schedule task um, in all of my and uh, my assets right now you have the ability to see tasks that have been scheduled right and also the location of those uh, those respective uh, uh, tasks and if if one of this is malicious for one thing we'll detect it uh, and uh, for another thing you can at least gain visibility or insight into uh, activities or processes or services that have been scheduled to run. So Threat Responder actually allows you to do legally defensible forensic investigation, and you have the option to download a file into uh, a CSV and uh, and uh, provide produce all, all the evidence that you need to uh, to determine whether a particular action or activity actually occur on an endpoint or not. I want to thank you very much for your time. Uh, as you can see, Threat Responder allows you to do different things. I encourage you to, uh, to download a, uh, uh, a demo copy of the software so you can uh, uh, do more forensic investigation or explore full capabilities of the platform. Thank you very much.